Misa Mo's Marshmallow was a fun, vibey song. But what is the story? It can be confusing to some. That's what I'm going to get into. I'm going to be going through Mina, Sana and Momo's story as each of their plot, despite taking place in the same building, is different. So I'll start off with Mina and then I'll go to Sana and then I'll end off with Momo. Let's get into this. So starting off with what Mina's plot was. Well, I believe that all the members represents different aspects of being an idol. And with Mina, we have the idol relationship with her bodyguard. Mina is a part-time worker. It seems she seems to be a newbie um, here, an internship. You know, she's she's struggling. She's she's doing all this stuff. But why does she have a bodyguard? It's because she's an idol. She's famous, right? We even see in a music video a guy having a camera trying to take a picture or a video of Mina and a bodyguard step in front of it. So at the beginning, we see that Mina is kind of like uncomfortable or kind of nervous around the bodyguard kind of like the bodyguards intruding into her space all the time and not giving her that ability to breathe and let her be on her own and as the music video progresses, we see that the bodyguard slowly but surely backs off he's still doing his job making sure she's safe but he's not all the time everywhere all up in her face you know there's a cute scene where he just places the marshmallow and walks off quickly as Mina is surprised but is also glad and then as we reach the climax of her plot the bodyguard loses her probably because he was becoming too relaxed but then he finally finds her and Mina puts the hat on him saying yo I'm safe I'm all right I can handle myself and I think it's a relationship type of thing that idols have with their bodyguards but it's also saying that they don't need to be protected all the time of course they have to be protected because they're celebrities and there's crazy people but they also let them breathe and let them be able to do their jobs and free and there can be a great bonding and friendship between us as seen within Mina's plot line so I thought that was really cool and how they presented that and that's how I interpreted it so with Sana's plot we see that she's an influencer and she represents the social media side of idols you know when they have their debut or comeback they post like a billion tiktoks of them doing the dances and youtube shorts they, you know partner up with other idols and stuff um but yeah in the music video it's explicitly she's an influencer she does cute vlogs she does the feud marshmallow review it's it's pretty cute how it's presented and her daily life basically but as we reach the latter portion we see that um, there's a child and Sana's in a shop and Shana wants to look at a mirror but the child's in front of the mirror she jumps in front of the mirror and she has the same bag as Sana and it's obviously represents she's a fan of Sana right and Sana sees that and I think with her story it, 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 I guess it represents that she's appreciative because she, she goes and she strokes the child's hair and she has this really warming and really kind of like a motherly smile but more like a warm smile to her and I guess as we go later down on the video we see that um, there's a YouTube video that Sana Lala uploaded on her YouTube channel that's a unit YouTube channel it's a Sana's savings shopping vlog so she does a whole YouTube video with these kids and I guess the idea is her interaction with the fans you know she's reached a point where she's doing a saving shopping so she's doing good right or I guess saving shoppings are just are spending less money maybe I misinterpreted this I was thinking she was doing something charitable I can still say she's doing something charitable because that's what idols do and you know they do charitable things because when you reach a point of high them or popularity and you have a bunch of money you tend to be more charitable with your money so i guess that's what i was gonna go with that but it seems like i misread it saving shopping i know there's a bunch of youtube videos that say oh ten dollar versus a hundred dollar 
budget type of thing but i don't think that's the type i just want i think they're doing the charitable thing and that's what my point was that she's being charitable and she's interacting with the fans so that's sana's backstory now with momo's plot <laughs> this one is the most confusing i mean it starts off with her um in the workplace in the business place and then somehow towards the end she's falling inside a cup with marshmallow what is going on with her story well momo represents kind of similar to mina she represents the independent but the boss attitude and the relaxation life of an idol all right so momo is her own boss i mean she has a boss and we see that the boss is kind of like being annoying to her but momo when she falls into that marshmallow cup it's kind of like her taking a break and we see that she throws up the papers she's like no more of this i'm not gonna let this guy tell me what to do i'm gonna do what i want and uh, her falling into the cup is just a metaphor of how she feels marshmallows are fluffy they're soft you have them at campfires and when you have campfires it's a really relaxing atmosphere mama wants to be relaxed that's what she wants to do right okay so that's that's how i interpret her story yeah so overall this was an amazing song you know i love momo's deep voice everybody's been saying it but it's true her deep voice is amazing her rap is amazing that iconic line from mina walk rest run yeah rest rest run yeah you know it was such a great song i'm really excited for when the title track and the full album comes out um also at the end of the video with um and it's been shown throughout the video there's this japanese writing within the marshmallow packet i don't know what it says that's why i kind of avoided that you know i tried to look up but um seemed like no one really cares so uh yeah so i don't really know what it says if you know what it says let me know in the comment what the japanese text says and you know so that i could be more intrigued because i i did want to know what that means but I, I i interpreted what i what i what i could know but it is what it is you know this was a great song this was a great video and yeah hit that subscribe button guys like this is the k-pop <laughs>